Hello family, my name is Brown Mills and I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. We love talking about everything finances when it comes to stocks, crypto. We love talking about options and we love talking about great books and we love talking about personal development. Listen family, I hope you guys are having a great week. Happy hump day to you guys. Listen, um, today I'd just like to do a quick short video on some option calls that I placed uh, this week. And I placed some option calls on uh, Givo, uh, NNDM, and BNGO. All right. And so, um, you know, I, I like the price action. I like the way these uh, uh, three um, stocks have been moving along this 20 day moving average. And oftentimes, um, when we look back at the history of these uh, uh, stocks, you know, there's a pattern that has, you know, um, been forming. And remember, with all stocks, all cryptos when it comes to reading these charts there are patterns and so if you can learn to pick up the patterns you can be truly successful in this business all right so when we take a look at Givo, when we go back um starting back this past november you know and i love talking about that 20-day moving average and so we crossed over that 20-day moving average and we trended up beautifully and then we cross back over that um 20 day simple moving average coming down and we've been heading down ever since now we have had some opportunities where we 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 fell way below we bounced back to the 20 but the 20 day simple moving average has been acting as some resistance so it never really got past that 20 day simple moving average and stayed up for any considerable amount of time now we did have a day here but eventually we came back down all right and so we've been trending down nicely and so when you pick up patterns like this you can quickly surmise that hey this is some established resistance here and so each time we get to this 20 day sma we can place a put option because a put option again we're betting against the upward movement of the um, um of, of the equity or the stock and so then we have future downward movement but as of late um back uh, a couple weeks ago we were hovering around this 20 day simple moving average and i was watching it and so now this 20 day moving average has become established support and so i found i saw this as a great opportunity to jump in and place a call option on it all right and so now i do have gvo all right i am in a call option on that hopefully we'll take a look at a video on it um again same with nano dimensions right we had a nice run up we had a pullback and this 20 day SMA has been acting as resistance. It did not want to cross over this 20 SMA going up. And so as a result, it has been falling continuously down. And now we crossed over the 20 day simple moving average. And for the past couple of weeks, been moving up very, very slowly. But now the 20 day SMA has been um, confirmed as established support and so now I, now is the opportunity for me to jump in place your call option or if you want to buy shares of this company you can buy shares also because we do have established support along this 20 day moving average and hopefully we can begin trending up again all right um the same with uh bngo bio nano genomics same thing here we had a huge run up and a lot of this is uh, attributed to um kathy wood um, art, their art uh, industries, the famous ETF, well, not the famous, but the very, very popular ETF. You know, she was, um, uh, you know, buying a lot of these uh, opportunities here, investing in the new te technology, new disruptive technology. So she was going in and per making purchases, driving the price up on these plays. But now art has, um, you know, we've seen a huge decrease in a lot of their their etfs right as of right now and she mentioned that last year she said it was going to be some correction um they anticipate some correction so she's um you know she's on top of everything but again bio uh bio nanogenomics again crossed over the 20 sma coming down considerable nice long downtrend we met 
resistance at the 20 day SMA each time. But what has happened the last couple of weeks, we have now crossed over the 20 SMA and we have maintained our level of support. And so now this will be a great opportunity to jump back in and hopefully we can ride this wave up. Now, remember, if you're getting in into, into any of these plays, we want to make sure that we set our stop limits. All right. So if you're buying in for the long haul, or you're placing some call options immediately after you place your call option, immediately after you buy some of these stocks, make sure you set your stop limits to minimize or reduce any type of um, um, loss. OK, so we can set our stops 10 or 15 percent or however much you want to um, um, however much you are willing to lose when it comes to these type of plays. All right. Now, let's take a look at the uh, video. And so again, family, listen, I, you know, I all, I don't like to really just talk about it, but I like to be about it too. So this is, uh, this is just a short video. I just want to show you, you know, how easy it is, simple it is to, to buy these, um, um, you know, call options. And so I was looking at first, I was taking a look at the June 2023 call option. Um, it was 470 at the time and the bid was between three. And it asked us for 20. So that was too much of a, a, a huge gap for me. I like the bid and the ask price to be, you know, in between, you know, from 50, 25 to possibly, you know, 40 cent at the max. So, um, so what I did here, I just went ahead and went with the, um, January 21st, 22, uh, uh, call option and all right, so I selected the, and so I selected the January 21st, 2022, $10 call option. All right, and so went ahead and I'm going to place just one contract on this, right? Contract is going to cost me $235. Boom, boom, and I am in, all right? Next play, I'm going to nano dimensions all right so i went to the uh again january 21st 2022 call option and so i picked the january 21st 2022 ten dollar call option okay ten dollar call option the price of the uh it's it's only ten bucks so ten dollar call option is really really uh, a good good call Boom. So I am in just place a call option there. So now I want to place a call option on BNGO. All right. And so what I'm looking at is the again, January 21st, 2022 call option. And so I am looking at the um let me back up here all right same thing here i'm placing the bngo um 20 uh uh january 21st 2022 10 call option price on x340 and boom and boom there you have it and so oftentimes man when it comes to placing these call options and you know i do these things for the people that's watching because again i'm i'm trying to show people or the masses out here how to spend a little bit of money and still profit greatly from it okay yeah it wouldn't make any sense for me to you know show you my retirement portfolio or 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 positions that i'm in where i have you know huge um i'm not gonna say huge but i have you know a good sizable amount of these plays um i'm here for the little guy all right i want this i want the little guy to know that Anytime, you know, you're investing, it really don't take a lot of money to, to, to build up to large amounts of money. All right. You can start a hundred dollars here, $200 there, $500 there, a thousand dollars here. But ultimately the ultimate game, the, the ultimate game is to win over and over and over again. Okay. Now family, I hope this video had some value to you. And if it did, Hey, please leave a like. Hit the subscribe and keep coming back for more wealth building information. Peace. <laughs>